Right, so we're going to put a grease band on uh, a younger tree. The reason we use grease bands on younger trees are the bark's usually a lot smoother. Uh, we can wrap these fairly tight and we can get quite a few more tr uh, trees done out of one grease band when they're fairly young. And the bark's a lot smoother so it'll, it will we'll be able to kind of um, uh, secure it down. The reason why we don't apply grease bands to larger trees, uh, the bark's usually a lot more fissured. The, the moths, earwigs, ants, whatever, can crawl underneath the grease band, through into the fissures and up the other side. So you can get grease bands from the, um, the website at Ashridge Nurseries. Um, everything you need is in the box. So we've got the actual grease band and then they give you some wire as well. So it's basically just a roll of grease. Could where you need to go. So that piece, that one there, mount to there. So we'll just cut that piece off. Grease band we've got for there. So just roll that back up, put it in your bag so it doesn't dry out. So you measure your grease band, unfold it. There's two ends. So you've got the grease in the middle and you've got two ends you can hold on to. Leave the grease on the outside, sticky side out. So just go about a foot up the, up the tree. So put your grease band on. You might have to fold the ends over. It sticks. Cut yourself a couple of bits of the wire and twist it round a bit and then snip it up. Right, and there's your grease band on. So the moths will kind of try and climb up here, over there, and get stuck in this middle part here. Um, you put these, these on in the um, autumn mother in the winter, so we're in November now. So, but once you'll see in the spring, you'll see. You might see some bugs getting stuck in that grease band. So it's, you know it's doing its job.